Good morning, everyone. Um, dear friends, dear colleagues, fellow academicians, both from face of IAUP, International Association of Universities Presidents, and myself, personally, I would like to welcome you at this conference about the future of education, particularly here in Rome, center of culture and education of the world. Before we begin and go into this conference proper, I would like to express my sincere thank you to fellow presidents and deans, to my dear colleagues, and last but not least, to our host, Roma Tarea University. In particular, I would like to thank you and honor the distinguished academicians and speakers, Dr. Luca Petromarci, rector of Roma Tarea University, and friend of mine, last 20 years, but don't forget, he's 90 years old man who sits now here next to us, Dr. De Souza Gurgolino from Brazil. And he's still running like a, better than me, actually. Thank you very much, Peter, for coming here in Rome. And he's also president of World Academy of Art and Science and World University Consortium. Thank you, my dear friends, Professor Anna, uh, Pietrici, I'm sorry, uh, Pietrici and Fra Francesca Mattei for being, having this uh, great panel this morning. I'm both honored and humbled to stand next to such distinguished academicians and professionals. It is inspiring to see so many shining icons of education and development come together to discuss on the future of education and its development worldwide. And thus, therefore, before we proceed, I would like to say a few humble words on the importance of education and on the importance of work we all do here today. As I have already mentioned in my IAUP inauguration speech, when back in the day, distinguished founders of IAUP convened the first meeting of International Association of University Presidents in Oxfordshire, in, in Britain, they could hardly imagine that their work and the importance of international education they wanted to promote would reach such brief and importance in just five short decades. However, they already held a vision educators from various divergent backgrounds would come together and influence the world to engage research, prosperous teaching, and mindful outreach. Today, thanks to the work and work of many others, we have come to intim intimately understand the importance of knowledge, sharing, and support for our fellows, both the people close to us and for people that may seem distant. Today, we need to share our ideas, to share our experience. If needed, argue, and as some of the first educators would have said, to find the truth somewhere in between. Because, let us not forget that today it is the ideas that change the world, and these, as educators, are the forefront of development, and spread of not just singular ideas, but the intellectual development as a whole. Thus, the current conference opens in the light of somewhat different than before, illuminating its true importance. The conferences and meetings like this are much more than just get gatherings of prominent scientists, academicians, and philanthropists. Even though not scrutinized by media as the likes of political and business gatherings, it is us, educators, that direct the process of formation of international and regional priorities, and as such, the economic and cultural development. The honor and responsibility of guiding and assisting promising minds falls to us and we must bear it with utmost dignity and integrity. And it faced bravely and openly, I see a great future for the education and research on the global stage. Yes, we are many failures, we are many setbacks and mistakes, but at the end of it, I see a brighter day for us and for the world. Today, as technology and sciences develop further and faster every day, as the world becomes more interconnected, 
and economically interdependent, the importance of work we do because becomes increasingly transparent. And before we go any further, let us look at it a bit closer. I will discuss my vision based on experience and evidence of the main topics we must discuss today. Let us begin by looking at the challenge ahead. With trial and tribulation that await everyone trying to better their world. Important as the education, edu education is, it is the mercy of shifting minds of politics and economy. As outlined in Millennium Development Goals by United Nations, we must tackle the problems that besiege the world at its current state. Wars, female, feminine, destabilization, poverty, insular and restrictive regulations all present great danger, danger and as the world today seems to tether in, in decision, many such troubles can present difficulties. So I would like to go, I would like to call into, onto you to lead with example of tolerance, equality and openness to embrace colleagues and students from around the globe. Give them the open and fair chance to become a part of our international family. This is the road to eradicate poverty and hunger. Embracing equality and striving for peace. After all, exam speaks louder than thousand speeches and is the most effective tool to convince government and individuals in validity of our ideas and ideals. Personally, I will take action by looking for new ways to advance peace and conflict resolution through higher education. The seventh principle of United Nations academic impact. With the main theme of my presidency and innovation in education and for a brighter future, I will dedicate personal and IEUP efforts towards internalization of innovative higher education and capacity building, particularly in conflict and post-conflict zones. Through the development of innovative and inclusive partnerships, I will work towards promoting new approaches to intercultural dialogues and understanding and strive to make the voice of higher education heard throughout on global level. And I welcome our university leaders to join in my efforts. However, no effort, no matter how noble, will last without sustainability. And what is sustainability for education? What is sustainability for educators like us? It is our ideas, ideas which have proved to be successful, correct, and most importantly, wise. As the problems of political instability and corruption, erosion and deforestation, spread of poverty among most vulnerable and consequent spread of radical ideologies, what weave into connected net smothering and world and endangered lives and livelihoods. It falls to us, leaders of global education, to promote ideas that provide value over the time longer than next tomorrow. Ecological, societal, and educational sustainability can only be achieved through education. It can, it can only be discovered through education. Part of its vision of the transfer of technologies and knowledge through innovative research and international collaboration. Only through trust and joint work we can merge resources and minds to achieve what no single one of us could, to become an international community of innovation and research. Thus, I ask you to keep your minds and hearts open and support those visionaries with aim to struggle in the battle against ignorance and intolerance. Furthermore, as a former student and politician myself, former politician, I would like to reach to the other side of the equation too, to say a few words over the view and needs of students, businesses, government. I will try to convey the vision of, of a man who had been in all those pairs of shoes. So to say and tell you what it looks like from our side of the fence. For students, it is hard 
regulations, requirements, international laws and hurdles of crossing borders already press a heavy burden on the youth that seeks to gain competitive cutting edge education today. What we can do to meet the needs or provide the best possible future is to change ourselves to better. Streamlined, straightforward higher education with more efficient delivery, more digital infrastructure and more unified system of evaluation and exchange opportunities is what I see for the future. Furthermore, the development of sustainability, IT and STEM are shaping to be the key towards solving the issues of economic and teaching, technical development and as a such are a priority to develop. So let us welcome the youth with open arms and open to them the best future we can. As for the government and businesses, and I all can say that need to show more involvement and most importantly, more trust in us. The education is the key to the technological and economic growth for sustainability and for corresponding preservation of human rights and dignity. The creation of more jobs, more development, and better standards of living is tied to education and its development. Working together with educators and each other is the key to integrated sustainable development in business and governance and the best possible outcome to current situation in the world. Innovation opens the doors to new technologies and new ways of accumulating capital, a driving force of progress and such commercialization of education invariably creates more resources and capital for all. Furthermore, the innovation, innovation in education itself allows more efficient allocation of resources and as we have already seen, it is the road of sustainable development into the future. In conclusion, I would like to repeat what I am honored and overjoyed to be with you today, to see my friends and colleagues and make new ones. In these few days, we will discuss the topics that we have large impact and importance for all of us, often in, way, often in ways not immediately apparent. Be mindful and be dedicated, because your efforts matter for us and for the people of the world. And so, I end my speech today. I wish you more successful and productive day. Thank you very much for my listening to me.